Singbei began to steer away from his unconscious. He awoke to find himself in a rusty metal cage along with nine other slaves. Due to him being unconscious, he was just now starting to feel the pain in his face from the impact of the hit. When he went to hold his face to ease the pain, he realized that his hands were bound to his ankles, which were also chained together. He also noticed how small the cage was and how cramped it was in there. The smell of unwashed bodies and animal filth were enough to make him gag. Some of these people were here for weeks. Confused and scared, Simbei began to panic, causing all sorts of commotion within the cage. He then saw one of the strange white men come up to the cage. The man gave Simbei an angry facial expression and said something in an unfamiliar language. The man then proceeded to take a short whip from his stash and started to whip Simbei through the bars of the cage. The other slaves looked on in indifference towards Simbei's whipping. After the whipping, Simbei was silently whimpering to, to himself as he tried to ease pain from the lashes on his back by pressing himself against the cold metal bars. This will be the first of many lashes that he will endure as his new life as a slave. As time began to mold together, minute by minute, hour by hour, day by grueling day, some of the slaves began to speak to Singbei. They told him of what was going on. They were now slaves who had been captured illegally by the Portuguese slavers and that they were traveling to a slaving fortress on the coast that would take them across the ocean to their new life of slavery. Upon hearing this, a boat of fear and uncertainty shot through his heart. The days soon turned into weeks, and finally they reached their destination, the fortress of Laboca, the eternal gateway to slavery. Fed up with being treated like human trash that was to be used and discarded, Simbei gathered all the older slaves which had the respect of the others and planned to start a rebellion. The night of that same day, Simbei gathered all the slaves he could below deck and launched a revolt. They broke out of their homemade chains and proceeded to sneak through the ship. Simbei was on a mission to free their fellow slaves and put a stop to this madness. Simbei led his newly freed brethren up to the main deck. There, a fight ensued between the crew and the slaves. Simbei met Captain Ramon face to face and battled him for the outcome of the ship. Simbei, being the steadfast hunter that he was, matched the captain's speed and ferocity in combat. After a tiring duel, Simbei emerged victorious with Captain Ramon impaled on a makeshift spear. The brawl ended in the death of a majority of the crew and a dozens of slaves killed, but with the fight over, the newly freed African slaves were victorious. The new African crew of the ship disarmed the rest of the surviving old crew and allowed two men, Jose and Pedro, to remain free in order to navigate and sell the former slaves back to Africa. After grueling weeks of sailing, Singbei and the African crew managed to beach the Amistad off the coast of Africa. Finally, with the slaves back on their homeland, they dispersed and with their separate ways, Singbei began his long trek back home.